Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. I made this, I stopped the last video at this part because I was like, oh, we're gonna start this dungeon and do it, but I forgot about the ghost house thing. <laughs> uh, they told me to dig up uh, the, uh, not dig up, uh, to look into one of the jars for a secret, which is probably a seashell, but uh, speaking of seashells, there's actually, I'm gonna go hunting for a couple. So we're not gonna be starting the dungeon just yet, unfortunately. But we'll definitely get to it during this video, that's for sure. Uh, this. And uh, no, not this, this, this. And finally this. There we go. So that's one. I'm positive I can get maybe two more. Maybe only one more. Just gotta go back to the village. Or no, actually I gotta go to the Tell Cave. Which is just above here. Gotta go in here. Because for whatever reason... Developers decide to hide a seashell in this little spot here. I mean, it makes a little sense when you compare these, uh, these uh, bow wows to whatever dogs and d dogs hide stuff underground, right? That's what they do, right? That's what the, I think the developers were going for. Uh, gotta go back to the tail cave. What am I doing? <laughs> or actually, no, there, there's maybe uh, something uh, for the shop. I think that's a Switch exclusive edition seashell uh, inside the um, shop. Because the Switch version of uh, Link's Awakening has 50 seashells. The X or in the original only have like 26. So not nearly as much. Although I do believe the Switch version has more rewards from the seashell mansions. So kind of evens out, you know? Okay, never mind. I already got this seashell, so yeah, it's like as, as I thought. Uh, but this presents an opportunity. What happens if we play Monbo's Mambo while inside a dungeon? Teleport to the entrance, as I said. Yeah, I don't get this one. You just ram that tree with the Pegasus boots and you get a seashell. Some of these seashells are just absolutely weird. I don't get them at all. Like, how, how are you supposed to figure this out? You know? Ramming into other trees doesn't do anything, but ramming into this one tree actually does something. Okay, two trees. <laughs> yeah, two trees. Uh, only need two more. Hmm. Maybe I'll be able to get the level two sword much earlier than I expected. This one's a little less obvious. <laughs> it was behind the rupee. <laughs> Did you, you might not even have noticed it. Alright, y'all remember this part? I think there's a staircase somewhere that I need to uncover. Yep. If you look carefully, you can actually see that... Uh, it was on top of a staircase. Anyway, that's 20 seashells. I can actually get the level 2 sword now. Gimme. My job here is finished. You've got a new sword! You should put your name on it right away! 
Now we got sword beams and double damage. Basically, essentially, we always have the uh, Triforce of Power effect uh, on our sword, plus the sword beams. Really cool. Gonna make some fights a lot easier. But that, now that that's done with, um, I mean, we can still find extra more. Like, there's 26 seashells and we only need 20, so I might find a couple more seashells, even though the game doesn't list the amount I have on me anymore. But, you know, beyond that, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, start Martha's Bay, finally. Boom. Boom. Oh, goodness gracious! Now we got quadruple power, probably, maybe. Something like that. Too bad it doesn't really mean anything when it comes to these enemies' shields. Uh, what's over here? Right, can't get that. Compass. Yes, yes, new future. Gosh. Gotta play with weights here. Basically, just a timing puzzle. And we know there's a key somewhere around here now. Hey! I guess I should move. Oh no, can't move these. Gotta move these. Maybe. Oh, I was supposed to put them in a square, not in a line. <laughs> Ugh. There we go. There's supposed to be an enemy right here. But we can't encounter it right now. Ah. No more quadruple power. I want to say it would be funny against the mini boss of this dungeon, but the mini boss is kind of a joke and falls apart even if you have the level 1 sword. Ah, the enemy's stuck. <laughs> yeah, just a beak. Yeah, at this point, you really ought to have the uh, bow. There's a reason the game is giving you uh, arrows for it. Need the hook shot. Oh. Back to level four. Can't destroy a skeleton with your sword. Try using a bomb. Just outright spoil the solution, buddy. Bombs? You want it? Hey, you're supposed to be dead. Ah! 
Ah, I can't beat you. I'm out of here. I've got what was inside this box. Come and get it if you can, Master Skull. Say, dive under where torchlight beams do cross. Boom. Uh, probably gotta throw. This. Nope. The way back, I guess. Up. Oh. Damn it. I don't have a spare key. And now I'm locked out. But I think I know where to find the. Uh, what's his name? Except I don't have the map. Eh. No, he actually doesn't appear here yet, huh? That's his last location. Thought it was his second, but nope. Because, yeah, spoilers, we're gonna have to fight him three times. Yeah, we're gonna ignore that. Gotta go through here. Ow. You know, that's kind of obvious. Like, why else would you allow us to dive in this pool? Like, yeah, torchlights cross this thing, but it's also the fact that it's super obvious, so, like, whatever. Also, bloopers! Need the hook shot. Well, we can see that this uh, 
treasure chest is three tiles from there, so I can get that. Can't get that though. Or that. Need the grappling hook for that one. Obviously. I'm, I mean, the reason I checked there is because I thought I could push some blocks from down there, but nope. Oh, I guess we're not fighting him just yet. No way. I'm not touching that. Got the map! Where do we wish to go? We wish to fight that asshole once again. Which we won't, for some reason. Huh. Maybe we're, we have to fight him four times. Huh. Be kinda weird. Actually no, we have to go over here. <laughs> Hi. Gulp, you found me. You're a real pesky kid, you know that? Hey, come on, I hit you. There. Jeez. Ah, I can't beat you. I'm out of here. Now the question is... Do we have to go up there to fight him a third time, or the other way to fight him the third time? I actually really don't know. Good thing I can... yeah, good. Fight number three! Didn't even give him a chance to talk this time. Ah, I can't beat you! I'm out of here! Yeah, whatever. And I'm gonna warp to the entrance, because uh, it'd probably be a lot faster than walking all the way back. Time to finish this. Sent him flying. <laughs> Die. Yeah, I think you actually have to use a spin attack to be able to stun him. One more. Is he just straight up invincible when he swings his sword? Because I think he is. Dead. Wow. Hook shot. Got the hook shot. This chain stretches long when you use it. And we're gonna warp back to the beginning again. Also, just for the sake of it. I'm gonna stop the music, because it was kind of annoying me. And obviously I don't need the power increase. So what's in this? 
money. 200 rupees, that's quite a bit. I don't need any of it, but you know. <laughs> no. Uh, keep thinking using the map, but... Uh... Yeah, we gotta go uh, to the left. Not there. Hook shot. Uh, well, now I gotta go through there. Full heal. That's why I wasn't worried. That's how you do this. Yeah, by the way, if you want to deal with these enemies more easily, you just do this. Like, you don't even need to attack them with your sword, just the hook shot itself damages them. Actually, I'm curious to see what is in here. Yeah, fairy. That actually could have been really useful for fully healing me. Should have used it instead of just tanking a hit. Oh, and we got another boss right here. This one requires you to use the bow and arrow. Because they got big eyes, you know? Eh, it's probably faster if I use the bomb arrows, actually. They do charge at you if you don't do anything. Ah. Uh. Come on. So annoying. And now we're just back here. <laughs> I suppose we can go up there. Show what happened. Nothing. Essentially, it's just a shortcut back to here, but I don't have the other key, so. <sighs> yep. This is probably the boss key. Or nightmare key, I should say. <laughs> yep. Now I just need one more small key. The other chest that's uh, on this map. You know, there's two treasure chests for me to find. Uh, I'm guessing the other one is just rupees. Actually, now that I think about it, we don't actually have to fight those uh, spiders to be able to reach the boss. As I, as I showed uh, earlier before I got the hook shot, there was another way to get to that keyhole. Still, it makes things easier, I guess. Nah, I could have used that. This money. Gonna get the parts too. It's actually three hearts that it gives you. The heart that's flying. 
Okay, perfect. And now I'm gonna actually warp back to the entrance, because then I can use the midpoint warp to quickly get to where the boss is. Yep. You know, it's so weird listening to this music. Oracle of Age is one of the games I, that I played uh, first a long time ago. And it uses this music that you're when you're in the underground as sinister music. <laughs> and it's so weird because it's like, it's really just Super Mario Brothers music and the fact they're using it for this sinister, for this scene that's supposed to be sinister is just weird. Anyway, time for the boss. So, you are the outsider. Come to wake the wind fish. Hee 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 hee! I shall eat you! Yeah, so this boss, you gotta pull it out of its hole. You know, when, whenever the RNG is, favors you. don't seem to know what kind of island this is. <laughs> what a fool. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can actually not have done the plot twist uh, even uh, by this point. Because the face, the, the face dungeon is like uh, the sixth dungeon, so, you know. You've got the wind, Marimba! Well, that didn't take too long. Shrine. The face shrine. Or as I like to call it, the face dungeon. First, what we're going to do is uh, put the scale in the statue, because now that we have the hookshot, we can actually reach that place. And speaking of which, there's actually plenty of places we can reach now. Hmm. I guess the face shrine is going to have to wait a bit longer. Oh, but, you know, speaking of which, there's that treasure chest in that uh, area over there. Get that done with. And for some reason, the old lady is here now. Do this. So first we throw a bomb. And that allows us to use a hook shot to go over there. Boing. Just need one more. There we go. You put the missing scale in the mermaid statue. And go down here. For the magnifying glass. Or magnifying lens. This will reveal many things you couldn't see before. 
<laughs> like all these enemies that you couldn't see. It's actually possible to just get damaged randomly while you were in this area. And you'll be wondering, what the hell just hit me? Uh, actually, I'm gonna warp back to uh, the pond, because I need Crazy Tracy to refill all my health. Plus, there's plenty of things I gotta do over there. Finally go here. And our reward is money. So now that we have the magnifying glass, we can go here. Look at this book. Do I really want to read it? Yes. Round and round the passageways of the egg. Left, up, right, up, left, up, right, up. Hmm, this book reeks of secrets. It's not a very h hard combination to remember, you just... It's like, you just keep going up, left... No, not up, left, uh... Left, up, right, up, left, up, right. Up. Something like that. It's not very complex to remember. And you don't actually need to remember it at all. <laughs> if you know the combination, you can just, uh... Use it when you get to the final dungeon, and you'll know exactly where to go. Like, you don't need to, quote-unquote know the combination in terms of in-game. What the hell? Having the magnifying glass allows us to see this dude. I found a good item washed up on the beach. I'll trade it to you for what you have in your B button. No. Oh yeah, uh, okay, whatever. He'll only trade one item for that. And it's the shovel. Uh, like this. <laughs> I found a good item washed up on the beach. Wait. I missed him up for some reason. <laughs> uh, so this, this. There we go. The boomerang! Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll never take the shovel from you, I'm pretty sure. So, the boomerang. What's it for? Killing the boss in one hit. <laughs> the final boss in one hit. That's what it... I, I think it's a glitch. I'm not sure... I'm not actually sure if the remake kept that quirk, but... Uh, it sure is something. Uh, I prefer the sword here. But yeah, that's the final trade you can do for the uh, trading thing, and that's definitely the optional part of it. Because uh, you might not even realize that there's a guy in there, like, ever. I don't know how you're supposed to go over there. Anyway... Oh, I guess we can do the secret that was right here. I think it gives us a piece of heart. Because the only items left for us to get are the, um, uh, let's see, the level 2 shield and the level 2 power bracelet. And the last item is the fire rod, which is actually kind of neat, but uh, by the time we get it, it's the game's basically over, so, you know. Ah, messed up. Come on. I had it. There we go. Uh, gotta read this thing first. Go this way. 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 And yes, you can use the hook shot on this. This way. Don't don't get it confused with that one. Go this way. 
This way. This way. This way. This way. You did it! Your reward is this way! Oh, the third song, that's right. Ribbit Ribbit, I'm Mamu on vocals! But I don't need to tell you that, do I? Everybody knows me. Want to hang out and listen to us jam? For 300 rupees, we'll let you listen to a previously unreleased cut! What do you do? Hey, I guess we do need some money. Well, 300 rupees isn't that much. Thank you, thank you very much, broke. And yes, that is Wart, by the way, <laughs> from Super Mario Brothers 2 USA. Liven up unliving things. Wonder what that would do. Can make the dead dance, maybe. Actually, you know what? Let's go to Tal Tal, Tal, Tal Heights first. I want to see if I can get a one extra heart container. I really want 13 hearts. Get this, this, and it's just money. Duh. And nothing much here. Yeah. I don't think there's any way to go by here. Trying to go here. That's the last uh, dungeon key that we have to get. And that's what happens when you fall from the thing. Huh. Well, let's see what's over here then. I'll obviously just stick here. Ah, oh, stupid fish. You know, to get all the treasure chests, you have to carefully move all these blocks. Of course, you don't actually have to get them all at once, so it's like whatever. Oh, no, you do! Ah, because you miss out on the ones you didn't uh, get the first time around. But it's not like we need money anymore anyway, so it's like, whatever.
you are near the Eagle's Tower. Beware of the bird, the annoying bird. I can bomb this wall because it caught my attention. Ah, eh, fairy. I'm pretty sure I'm wasting my time going to the Eagle's Tower right now because it's Dungeon 7 and I didn't even get the key yet, so it's probably a waste of time. But maybe there's a warp I can activate over there, maybe? <laughs> probably not. Feels like there should be a secret behind that thing. There is not. Eagle's Tower. Rip. Fail all the way down there. Wow. Game! Ah, <laughs> uh, well, might as well. It's Luigi! Chickens these days don't have the fighting spirit they used to. In the old days, they could fly. Flap, flap. But now, see? Cluck, cluck. Um. God damn it. Check out this area. Secret. Um. Here we go. No enemies. God damn it, it's not gonna move out of the way because it's lazy. Because it only activates when you actually get hit by it. There we go. That's how you get this piece of heart. Gosh, there, I'm pretty sure there's many games where I see this piece of heart and it taunts me and I never get it because I keep forgetting you can bomb this wall right here. Now we're going to go over here. Now we're in Debt Mountain. To be honest, I should probably leave this place. <laughs> I really should not be here. <laughs> Where does this lead? all way ahead of time. I uh, cannot go through there. <laughs> Need a certain shield to make that work. So that was my adventure through Telltale Heights, but we're not done just yet. I still uh, want to get uh, probably one or two more pieces of heart. Because there's only four left now. 
And one of them is in the final dungeon. I know that one. Stupid annoying ghost. Well, I was just pushing these out of order. No wonder I was doing it wrong. Or maybe I'm doing it right and I'm still doing it wrong or something. I'm not sure. It's weird. Big Boo! Well, that's a thing you can find. we go okay I just had to get rid of the big boot for some reason because I couldn't push this one for the longest of times for whatever reason hello our colors are never the same if I am red he he is blue if he is red I am blue what color is my cloth blue don't tell anyone Do you have the powder if not you must go back Yeah, they, they take a while to talk for some reason. These two. He's red. Don't tell anyone. The fairy queen is waiting for you. Yeah, it's trying to say something, but I can't understand it. Make everything blue, probably. Something like that. So yeah, we're doing this dungeon now. <laughs> the color dungeon. These are timed. And we're gonna need to power our bracelet here. Come on. There we go. The key? Nope, the beak. I don't think there's a map or compass in this dungeon. It's a very gimmicky dungeon. Yeah, make all the red blue, so I did it wrong. Still doing it wrong. <laughs> uh, touch the blue. No. Like this. Oh, so there is a compass. Never mind. And special feature. Yeah, I know. Ugh. I think the whole shtick about these ghosts is that you cannot see them because of the color thing. Something like that. Red and green are bad colors to uh, use in tandem, by the way. Colorblind people have trouble discerning some shades of green and red. Not all shades, of course, but some shades. Is there something to consider, alright? Blue. No. Not too hard. <laughs> there is a much more difficult uh, dungeon that's kind of like this in the Oracle games. Like, significantly more difficult. Like, crazy difficult. Like, you basically have to cheat difficult. Boo! I am no weakling. Your pitiful sword is no match for me. You fool, your sword won't work! Try something else! Uh, the boomerang? The 
boomerang does nothing. Uh, bombs? You want them? Nope. Maybe I can just lift you up. No. It makes a sound that it's being damaged, but... Oh, wait, the magic powder, that's right. They told me I need some. <laughs> Yep, just two spin attacks, because got the level 2 sword. Gimme. Nightmare's key. It's not a nightmare in this case, though. This is a very basic dungeon, gotta be honest. Boss number two. What a greedy fool. You want more power? A buffoon like you might as well give up and go home. Uh, I think you can just attack this one. Yeah. color this time, you stupid owl. Blue. It's always blue. There we go. That took way longer than it should have for me. <laughs> like, it's not even that big of a deal. I just kind of messed it up too early on, and because of that, I had to do it the hard way. Uh, I don't have the key, so I gotta go all the way back. God damn it! Stupid acorns. Well, there's the map. Not this map. This map. And apparently there's a door, but not a door, a room down there I didn't go through. Oh boy. Oh wow, you can just hit them right into the hole. Got the key. Yeah, can use the boomerang or the bow and arrow. Blue is safe, yellow is caution, red is danger! So basically the longer... yeah, yellow is caution, red is danger. Take your time. The longer you take to actually deal uh, damage to this boss, the, the faster it regenerates. Or it, re it regenerates HP over time and basically the color on its top indicates how much HP is left. That's all there is to it. Welcome, Hawk. I admire you for coming this far. I will give you the power of color. If you want offense, choose red. If you want defense, choose blue. Which power do you want? Red! Yes! Relax and close your eyes. Link is now red. Now we got quadruple power. The game has become even easier! I will now take you out. Oh god damn, these stupid ghosts. Holy crap, just leave me alone.
If you get hit, I, I think if it's if you get hit that uh, the game decides uh, you can no longer push these things. Okay. So I'm back here because there's a thing over there that I didn't go through. Money! Cursed Holy Hands Room? Except for Link's Awakening? Not really. In incidentally, these rupees, they're green. Different color than the blue ones we collect all the freaking time. Okay. Well, that's that done with. Finally. Um. Well, there's those heart pieces that I was thinking of getting. I gotta go down. Yeah, we already went through here, but... Yeah, like I'd ever figured that out. This is definitely one of the tough ones. Like, how are you supposed to figure this out? <laughs> Check every single wall in the game and yeah, eventually you'll find uh, this piece of heart. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is a gimme. I just completely forgot about it. Okay, I know where the last two are. I'm gonna get the the penultimate one, and then, well, the last one we can't get until we're at the final dungeon, so... <laughs> but the penultimate one is definitely one I would never have thought about. It's definitely weird. You'll see. Okay, so... The one we're thinking of is this one. I cannot get it by going here. I need to go in the moat. You know, the, the area around us. Like this. Except I think I was supposed to go from the other direction. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go all the way around. There we go. How are you supposed to figure this out? I don't know. This staircase down there? Leads to, I don't know, <laughs> probably leads to a, an equipment extension, honestly. Definitely not another heart piece, that's for sure. And it's completely optional, that's the important thing to remember. So yeah, that's all the heart pieces. The only le one left is in uh, the final dungeon, so we'll get it uh, when we get there. Ha! Can defeat these creatures in one hit. So satisfying. Um, but yeah, to get to the face shrine, we actually gotta go downwards. Which I... Well, I can use the hookshot here. Staircase, yeah. And this is the raft! And I believe this staircase is basically just a way back. Yeah. Want to go on a raft ride for a hundred rupees? Oh, that's a little expensive. Okay, the raft is ready for you outside. Enjoy. Thought it was like 20 rupees, not a hundred. So yeah. Raft ride. No heart pieces to look for. Maybe some seashells, but we already got all of them. We can start from over here if we want, which we will. Uh, we want a feather. <laughs> I 
good things come to those who wait. Oh, come on, I clearly had that. Oh, well, we're stuck here. Ooh, look at all those goodies I could have had. And that's that. Where are we now? All the way there. And yeah, we missed several areas uh, of fun back there. <laughs> And this is the way back. And we will be taking it, because we want to see all the areas. Avoid that. Go down here. Oh my god! I... There we go. Except I missed out on that treasure chest. What do you have to say? Now you need to look far for a secret. It's only money that's in the other chest that was over there. Uh, yeah, I think the face shrine is right over there. We're gonna stop by the entrance. Just gonna check over this area. And eh, there's nothing. Yep. Uh, I guess we're gonna go inside by going up there. Or not. Huh. Oh wait, that's right, there's a small island where you can see two uh, armos and probably just find a passage through there. Hi, you stupid owl. Hoot, there are two shrines, one to the north and the other to the south. First head south, where ancient runes speak of the windfish. You will learn much there. I've already learned about this stuff. Game. <laughs> I went out of order. I already saw the plot twist. Okay, Face Shrine is next, and I'm positive that I will be doing it as the start of the next video. Um, after that, we're pretty much uh, gonna head straight to level 7. Like, we still have to find the key that was, like, around here, but we're gonna head straight to level 7, and we'll probably end the video there, and then it'll be level 8 and the final boss, because we're pretty much at the, e the end stretch of the game. We've, As you can see, we've uncovered pretty much the entire map. There's just not much else to find. I hope you've all enjoyed this video. I'll have a nice day. Bye-bye!